Uh, moving on the response or the perspective on technology, we'll have two aspects now, uh, one linked to the medical technology and the other one to the information technology that supports the, the environment. I ask, I, we will start uh, with uh, Sungu on the medical technologies, mm -hmm. please. Okay, uh, thank you for giving me a great opportunity to discuss about the SP issues. So I'd like to focus on uh, three issues. One is that um, prevention versus treatment. And second issue is the massive screening uh, versus a point of care test. Uh, thirdly, I'd like to um, uh, the, um, the mention about the innovative point of care test uh, to uh, ubiquitous health care. The one is that um, the, in USA, uh, the National Institute of Health, NIH, they focused, they invested huge money for over 50 years on the cancer uh, drug development. But after they said they couldn't find any progress, the ratio of the patient was almost the same uh, the, after but before the investment. And then they made uh, some conclusions. So they changed their policy to uh, prevention rather than uh, treatment. And then so many ph pharmaceutical companies uh, changed their um, the, you know, the, um, the future or the investment uh, the direction. Now, uh, the prevention means they include the vaccine, vaccine development or the diagnostics. This field is very important. If you uh, prevent the disease uh, before the uh, treatment, it will be much effective. Actually, it seems that it is more effective. And last year, we have uh, a pandemic, a COVID pandemic. In the beginning of last year, announced, WHO announced that uh, pandemic uh, started, but the, uh, the, um, each country uh, tried to uh, get the right detection uh, systems. So in uh, Korea too, many uh, diagnostic companies uh, generated so much as uh, uh, the uh, PCR uh, diagnostic uh, kit and also the machines. <laughs> and provided for the massive screening. But the uh, massive screening has the one critical problem, uh, transportation of the uh, human samples. After you get the uh, samples from the hospital, you have to transport. Usually it takes a long time. So that is also a cost. And also uh, during the transportation, your samples in the beginning, the sample transportation uh, for the transport, Transportation, they made a very special packaging, three layer of the uh, special packaging, and not to uh, spread out the virus. So that was uh, uh, cost made uh, much cost, and also made a mis mistake, also a uh, mix up of the samples. That kind of thing uh, made uh, some wrong result for some people. But uh, for the massive on uh, the uh, screening purpose. It was fine. But if they had a point of care test system on that point, also still now, then uh, they can do, they can handle the sample on site. Uh, fresh samples uh, can be uh, analyzed and then we can provide the data uh, very quickly uh, without any uh, cost or the duration time um, uh, for the uh, transportation will be a great method, but still, we are not ready. So nobody uh, made a, a so uh, compact, a great, uh, inexpensive system. But the, um, maybe the government, also every uh, company wanted to uh, generate that kind of uh, inventions. So that is the uh, one uh, critical point. And then, then um, the why uh, so if, how can it do uh, handle the uh, supervising the uh, disease uh, at this time after the corona or with the corona? So 
but possibly if we can, this kind of point of, point of care test system at home or in a private hospital, then you can use this one more efficiently and then more effectively. So for this, uh, we need uh, some uh, special uh, technology. That is, uh, we need uh, innovation, innovative te technology. So how can you uh, make them? So I think the government uh, should make uh, uh, some policy uh, to uh, generate this kind of uh, need uh, technology. So um, the, we need a uh, huge investment for this. So many companies are trying to make this one. But in the beginning, mostly new technology comes from the uh, venture, um, the, uh, the uh, startup companies. They uh, concentrate on the new technology. They want to uh, make it commercialized uh, by the help of uh, the big companies. So there, um, the uh, startup companies cannot uh, the, um, cannot uh, get funded well. So who's going to uh, sponsoring, uh, sponsor them? The government may need this kind of uh, sponsoring system. So if uh, they can get uh, enough money, enough investment and concentration, uh, they can um, make a very fast, accurate, compact, inexpensive, uh, portable systems uh, can be generated. If that is generated, we can use this one at home or at um, any place in the field. Then those, um, they can uh, collect the data on site. They can send this data result to the hospital or to the um, control tower. Especially in the control tower, in the servers, whole data can be collected. Using this big data system, uh, we can be assisted by artificial intelligence. Using this kind of a combination, uh, we can control the, we can expect, estimate the next um, the, um, uh, disease or what kind of disease will appear in different season, different location. So this one will be the uh, good uh, approaches. <laughs> so um, many companies want to um, approach this way, but still we need a uh, critical part, innovation. So I like to uh, focus and emphasize the, uh, this innovative technology. Uh, the, in this way, uh, we can apply to the ubiquitous healthcare on um, the, the uh, future. So everybody can use a handheld size or wearable size of detection system at home, and then they can uh, check their health and then they can provide this data uh, to hospital, then they, they can collect in the government or control tower, uh, the center for this control. They uh, can provide a uh, good policy to you know, the control the disease and for the better life. That will be the, um, I think, uh, future world. So if I um, the, um, uh, provide one simple our uh, the cases, we are working with WHO and also we are working with Institute of Pasteur in Senegal, especially in Senegal. They uh, adopted our system. Uh, we are co-developing together. Uh, they have the, uh, the huge number of the uh, clinical samples uh, from the African countries. And we have the, uh, some innovative uh, technology uh, we can provi we provide it, uh, we could um, make a, a very efficient way of the um, point of care test system. So, and then um, we hope we can make a better system together. And also, uh, WHO, uh, uh, we are communicating with the WHO. Uh, they also, you know, providing um, um, us the good information and guidance. In that way, we, we can find the uh, uh, real need uh, from the uh, real world. So we hope we can make this kind of uh, the cooperation uh, for the uh, good uh, solution. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Sung Wu, for, for the practical proposition. On the previous panel, we heard that uh, one of the lessons from the, the COVID crisis was the need to better anticipate and the need for the preparation. And if I understand well here, you're proposing a priority that says the preparation should lead to ubiquitous or instantaneous yeah. healthcare. And this mm. requires also the type of infrastructure that you describe and uh, definitely cannot be, be built uh, overnight. So thank you for, for this input. Mm -hmm.